today uh, I'm doing the cover shoot for my autobiography, so it's very exciting. We wanted to cover my whole life in the book, so it starts from my early childhood, growing up in Kent, attending stage school and then getting into glamour modelling and moving to Hollywood, so it carries me right up until now, really. <laughs> It's been really fun actually going back over my life, going to my hometown and talking to my friends and just having them remind me of things that happened when I was growing up. You can expect some juicy gossip. It's just a nice opportunity for me to actually just tell the truth and how I feel about what's gone on in my life. I'm at a place now where I'm really comfortable talking about certain tragedies in my life and how I've worked my way through that. So I think a lot of women that are maybe going through tough times at the moment will really relate to that and hopefully get strength from it. Yeah. I do feel quite proud that I've done enough in my life to be able to write an autobiography at 35. I never really kind of celebrate things I've done. So to actually sit and look back, I think I've worked on American TV shows, worked on films, uh, launched fashion lines, and I sit there and I think, gosh, it's just flown by, really. People look at individuals in the media and they think it's very easy for us. They don't actually see the work that goes on behind the scenes. All people really see usually is just like glam hair and a smiley face, but behind all that there is a real kind of determined woman that's, you know, won't suffer fools. 